to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. I mean, if we're being honest. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Andy what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> Shh. Let him finish. Oh, he'll talk all night if you let him. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I don't hand in it. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. You've never seen a field plowed so well. That's the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your coat. Tonight we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the King in the North! The, the King, 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 King in the North! North! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock. And House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to, to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods are famous. Onward to Castle Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! Winter is coming! Aye! Let's hope it waits till this bloody war's over. Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now. But I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well. To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire. But as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester, it's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Begging your pardon, my lord, but it's long overdue. Arrogance doesn't become you, Garrett. Perhaps I misjudge your readiness for this honor. Now go and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Squire, fetch us more wine. Can you give me a hand? Come on, can I get up to you? Do it yourself. I've been a squire longer than you, which means I outrank you. So? It's all you, not me. Go with Bowen. A 
fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. It's just my luck to end up ignoring while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. It's your job to do the work and stop complaining. You try squiring for Nora and see how much you like it. See, that's why you're lucky. Low expectations. Patience. I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop. Well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Just shut your mouth. It's the truth. It's not like I'm making it up. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. Pulling wine around a fucking wedding. Give it time. You'll get there. Or easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling at House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, it's right over there. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walder's in a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. wrong just gotten into you you're acting rather odd we need to get back now they're fine they can wait no you don't understand we need to go and <laughs> take the fucking flagon already what's wrong with him something the matter Bowen we have to go you go if you're in such a rush. We have to warn the others. Good luck.
Got it. Did you find Roderick? Speak up, Garrett. Did you see him or not? The Freys. They... they slaughtered him, my lord. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? Speak up, boy. I... I didn't leave him. But I couldn't save him. Find a weapon, quickly! Keep moving, my lord. That never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Walter well, Frey, don't <gasps> Do as you command, my lord. You have served me well. I know I can count on you. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. Tell only the Castellan. Hey, it's those foresters. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! <laughs> With love, uh. Lord of Frey. Lord. Fresh.
That's father's car. Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Benton may be coming, but at least still have his bacon. Long boy, there's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father, I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself? Probably a deserter. Lord Forrester gave me this sword. Hmm. Forrester. I should have known. That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> I'll have that sword, boy. Pig farmer, aren't you? survived your, your sister oh, she hid I tried to stop them
kill the men who did this. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the Maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? <sighs> These are dark days, I fear. To lose the Lord of the House and the Eldest Son through such a dis despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh... This might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I all low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. <sighs> Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. <sighs> 